Hello folks, this is Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing here in Dallas, Texas. I want to go over, I have a lot of questions about what is a compound, what is a polish. If I review my emails or my private messages on YouTube, a lot of people are asking. I'm still confused, Scott. What is a compound, what is a polish? If I'm going to use a compound, what pad would I use? If I'm going to use a polish, what pad am I going to use? So this is going to be a great video for some of you beginners to give you a nice foundation. This isn't by any means 100% the law. you got to follow it all the time and that's the only way to do it. But for beginners, this is going to give you a nice foundation. First of all, what is a compound? A compound is typically a fluid that has the ability to go after moderate to deep defects off the paint. This is what we call leveling fluids. It removes a great deal of the defects off the clear coat. Here are two very popular compounds on the market. Meguiar's M105 and Griot's Fast Correcting Cream. If you're a beginner, I probably would not recommend Meguiar's M105. This stuff likes to dust a lot. It's very finicky. It's not user friendly for beginners. I just wanted to use it as an example of a compound that's on the market. As you become more advanced, you may actually start to fall in love with this because I actually still love M105. But for beginners, if you want to go after deep to moderate defects and you don't want something so finicky like M105, Griot's Fast Correcting Cream is great. These, these are wonderful. These are going to remove moderate to deep defects off the paint. Now, what pads am I going to match up, as a rule, with those two compounds, those two aggressive compounds? Well, you've got two options if you like. I have in my hand a microfiber cutting disc by Meguiar's. This is an aggressive pad, or a disc, it's microfiber. I could team them up with M105 or Griot's Fast Correcting Cream to go after severe to moderate defects and do it rather quickly with this disc. I can also use what we call a medium orange cutting pad. This pad will also go after medium to severe defects on the paint matched up with those two compounds. If I put some on the pad, apply moderate pressure with my DA and use really slow arm speeds, I can remove moderate to severe defects off the paint. What makes the microfiber disc a little nicer, it will do it faster and probably go after some more deeper defects for you. But if you're a beginner, the white uh, cutting pad by Meguiar's or orange cutting pad by, this happens to be made by Lake Country, is great for compounds that have the ability to remove severe to moderate defects off the paint. Now, I'm going to go down in less aggressiveness. Is that the word I'm looking for? Okay, it works in the moment. I make my own words up as we go along. What I have here is Griot's Correcting Cream. Those two compounds right there, Meguiar's M105 and the Fast Correcting Cream by Griot's, if you team them up with the orange pad or a microfiber disc, you're typically always going to want to follow up with a polish with those because when you're removing deep defects off the paint, you'll notice you remove the deep defects but your paint will look what we call scoured. It will look a little hazy so you typically always have to finish up with a polish. That's why we call it a two-step. I'm going to show you a fluid, a correcting cream by Griot's. This is also considered a compound. What makes this compound really nice is that it will go after moderate defects on the paint, but you may only have to do it in one step instead of two steps. What's nice about this, it can go after moderate defects, but also give you nice shining gloss on the paint so you don't have to finish up with a polish. What pad would I team up with Griot's correcting cream? Well, I would use a medium cut orange pad. This seems to be a very good pad to use with that Griot's Correcting Cream as a one step all the way around the car. Those are compounds. Those are just popular compounds. They're not the only compounds. I have many more in my arsenal, but I wanted to try to keep it very simple. Now we're starting to walk into the realm of polishes. What I have here is Meguiar's M205 and Griot's Perfecting Cream. What is a polish? Well, polishes typically can only remove very light defects off the paint, but more importantly, they're going to restore shining gloss. 
Again, if you're using a very aggressive compound like M105 or Fast Correcting Cream with the two different types of pads that I talked about that you could use with them, you're always typically going to want to follow up to restore shining gloss after using those compounds. These polishes typically give you really nice shining gloss. Yes, they can go after light defects, but at that point, when you're doing the second part of a two-step correction, you're typically only using the polish to restore shining gloss. What pads would I use with these finishing polishes? I typically would use a white pad. When we're talking about orange pads or white pads, as a general rule in my industry, a lot of companies use the same color codes. That's kind of changing a little bit in my industry, but for the most part it still applies. A white pad is what we call a light polishing pad. You would team these up with Meguiar's M205 or Griot's Perfecting Cream as your polishing stage, okay? Now I want to talk about what we call, and are very popular in my industry, all-in-ones. These are cleaner waxes. HD Speed is very popular. This has the ability to go after certain defects on the paint, restore shining gloss, and also lay protection down. Very quick, very easy, hence why it's called HD Speed. Griot's finishing sealant is much like HD Speed, but if I can give you kind of some advice, if you're a mobile detailer always working in direct sunlight and on hot panels, HD Speed is going to be much more user friendly for you, okay? If you use Griot's finishing sealant, I would recommend you stay out of direct sunlight and certainly don't use it on a hot panel. Not, not that it won't work, but it's very hard to remove. It can be a little bit more finicky than HD Speed. But what's in interesting is Griot's finishing sealant, in my opinion, can go after more defects than HD Speed. But don't overthink the moment. HD Speed is great when you're working in direct sunlight. Griot's finishing sealant, if you can help it, try to use it in the shade or out of direct sunlight. Also a great all-in-one. What pads would I use with those two all-in-ones? Well, you have two options if you like. I still like to use an orange medium cutting pad. I know that's a little confusing, right? Because I was using those with the compounds. You can use them with an all-in-one as well. Take advantage of the fact that this has got a little bit of a cut to it and you can take those all-in-ones and remove some defects off the paint a little bit faster using an orange pad. If you want to use something a little bit more gentle with those all-in-ones, you can also use the white light polishing pad. Either way, you can't go wrong. I just feel that the orange pad will might, might get you to your finished result a little bit faster. So those, those are the two pads I would match up with all-in-ones. When we're talking about putting waxes or sealants on the car, let's say you want to use a liquid, liquid wax, carnauba-based, or if you want to use a liquid wax that's synthetic-based, a paint sealant, you typically want to use a red foam pad. This red foam pad is very soft. It has no cut. It's great for applying waxes and sealants if they're liquid like this, okay? So that's a nice option for you. If you wanted, if you wanted to strictly go to a retail level compound and polish, you don't want to buy professional products, here's Meguiar's Ultimate Compound. It's a nice compound. It will go after some moderate defects if you're lucky. Swirls, spider webbings, holograms, you know, it could maybe remove some fine scratches off the paint. I would match it up with the orange medium cut pad again with a retail level compound. If you want to follow up with the compound on a retail level and use Meguiar's Ultimate Polish, I would use, excuse me, I would use a white light polishing pad, okay, with a polish. That seems to be a pretty good combo for the two of them. So if you notice that of all the pads, as a general rule, this will get you very far. The two pads that are very crucial for beginners are going to be an orange pad and a white pad. These are pretty, these are pretty strong pads to have in your arsenal. You can use the orange ones with moderate compounds or aggressive compounds if you like. You can use the white polishing pad with your polishes or an all-in-one. You really can't go wrong. These are probably two pads you want to buy quite a few of them for your beginners and you'll, you, you, you'll, you'll have what you need for the most part with just about any compound or polish. I hope that helps you guys out. If there's any questions please let me know but Again, compounds are going to be stuff that remove the defects off the paint. Polishes are going to go after light defects, restore shine and gloss. 
all-in-ones can kind of do all of that in one step plus lay protection behind. They're not all that great after going after deep defects, but you can team them up with a white pad or an orange pad with the all-in-ones if you like. I hope that helps you out. I love you all. Talk to you soon.